Hello everyone, today we'll be talking about how we can get started with Metronic using Gulp. Basically, we will go through how we can install Metronic and all the relevant dependencies required for Metronic, and how we can start building our localhost environment using Gulp. So let's get right into it. By first purchasing Metronic, you can do that by going to our website kingteams.com and navigating to our Metronic page and then clicking the Buy Now button right here. Alternatively, you can also, I will add a link in the description below so that you can come to this page directly and then once you're here, you can just go ahead and purchase Metronic. And once you've done that, it should look something like this. So you go ahead and unpackage or unzip the file, it looks like this. And the first thing you see within the folder is you have five different folders. Now each of these folders, different instances of Metronic except for the design. The design is just where we keep all of our design files. Like you have our doozy icons, our two tone icons, Sigma, Sketchy and so on. And these four folders represent the four different versions of Metronic. We have the basic HTML version. We have a PHP Laravel version, a React version and a Vue version. Now in this video, we'll be talking about how you can set up the HTML version. So we, let's go ahead and just go into that HTML folder, go into our themes, and then go into the demo one. But before we go to demo, we, we, um, we have four demos here. Uh, not four demos, we have eight demos, sorry. So each of these demos are a representation of different look and feels of Metronic. So to showcase what, uh, or to preview what all these eight demos are, if you go back to our page here, you can see the previews of all our eight demos here. So this is demo one, which is the default dashboard. And then we have an example of how a SaaS application will look like, or maybe a new, a trendy new admin dashboard, an internet application, a support forum-like layout, an admin backend layout, a CRM, or even a classic dashboard layout. Now in this, Within each of its demo, we also have noted a dark mode available. So now some demos will have dark mode and some will not. So just bear in mind that. And all these demos are included with out right out of the box. It's all within here. You can just use it as as your project sees fit. So that now for this case, let's just open up demo one, open this to this folder, and this let's open the index.html. So here we have Metronic all working statically through the HTML file. So the, in order for us to make this run uh, within our localhost environment for, for your development purposes, you can go to the documentation right here, click on that, and go straight into the quick installation. Now in here, we have two ways of building Metronic. We have the gulp and the webpack ways of building it. So in this video, we'll be talking about how we can um, use Gulp to build it. So all we need to do is just follow the steps. So step one, we just need to get the latest theme from the marketplace, which is Theme Forest, right here. Go ahead and purchase and download it. Once you've done that, you need to then install Node.js if you don't already. If you already have Node.js, you can skip this step. Now Node.js is right, right here is just a simple a simple pre-built installer that you can use to simplify your project builds and then once you've done that we can go ahead and navigate to our tools folder to start writing certain command lines now another way we can do this is instead of opening the command prompt or the terminal we can actually go straight into the ide like so and open the terminal within the ide so this is our terminal that we've just opened within the uh, Visual Studio Code and we need to navigate to our tools folder right here. So let's go ahead and navigate there. HTML to, whoops, I think I'm missing something. CD HTML theme tools. There we go. And then in here, if you go back to our, our documentation, we need to install uh, NPM. Now, if you already have NPM installed, you don't have to do this or if your npm is very uh, is uh, outdated then of course it's best that you update your npm to the latest version by running this line all you do all you need to do is just copy this put it into your command line like so and then run it 
I've already done this so I don't need to do this anymore and then similarly you need to install yarn so again copy this put it in your terminal and then run it now if you already have right if you already have yarn installed you don't have to do this and then next we want to install the gulp cli by just copying this and putting that same thing if you already have the gulp cli installed you don't have to do this again next um if you have gulp already installed maybe you, what you should do is you check the version of gulp and if your gulp is really out to date all you need to do is just remove your gulp and then reinstall it then next we need to run yarn yarn just basically installs all of our dependencies or third-party assets that is required within Metronic. So I've already done that but if we run yarn again what happens is it just says that all your assets are already up to date. So that's done and now we can just run gulp. So let's go ahead and run gulp. Now we have a flag after this command. Now the flag is just indicating which assets you want to build. Now if you put dash dash demo 1, you're basically building demo 1. Alright, it's done. So what we just did is we just built the uh, assets for demo 1. And what we can do is run demo 1 within our localhost environment. So let's go ahead and do that. Localhost and add the demo 1 flag. And there you have, click on that. And we have demo one running on our localhost environment as you can see up here now we have a lot of options or a lot of demos we have eight demos that we can show and we can preview so in order to preview our other demos on our localhost environment you can just stop the localhost, localhost first by uh, pressing ctrl c and then once you've done that you can go ahead and run gulp demo 2 to compile demo 2's assets all right, and then run gulp local host demo2. And there we have, click on that, and now we have our localhost environment running demo2. All right, so, so that's pretty much it for this video. Um, this is how you can get started with Metronic and how you can start installing assets for Metronic. The next video we'll be talking about is how you can actually do this exact same task but using Webpack. And then our next future videos will be talking about how you can customize and build or configure your build options. For example, in Metronic we have a lot of different plugins that is included within the package and for your projects perhaps you do not need all of it. Maybe you just need certain parts or certain plugins that's being used for your project so we can just omit the rest so on our future videos we'll be talking about how we can actually configure all that so please subscribe to our youtube channel and uh, turn on the not notification bell so that the next time when we release those videos you get an update please also give us a like if you find this video informative and also please follow us on our social medias the links will be in the description below and i see you guys in the next video take care